Okay, if you have an older laptop with a hard drive instead of an SSD, I'm going to show you how to clone that information and then install that new SSD, tripling the speed of your system. Now here is how it's going to look after you get the SSD installed in the same exact spot where the HD was. But before you get to this place, there's a few things you have to realize and get set up for and purchase. So you're ready to go ahead and make this switch. Now you're going to want to examine your system and see the size of your operating system drive. Typically on laptops, a 500 gigabyte has been used lately. When you replace it with an SSD, you don't have to get the complete 500 gig. You could probably get by with 250, but examine how much space is remaining on your drive and allow an extra 100 gigabyte for expansion. Now here's an old SSD that I was taking out of another system. It's a Kingston. Uh, I used to use Kingston, but now I'm using Samsung. And because they're a very good drive in their, their software to replace a hard drive with your, their SSD is outstanding. I don't normally make recommendations for hardware, but in this particular video, I'm putting the links for both the SSDs and for this caddy that you have to hook up to your laptop in order to clone your drive. Now here's the empty SSD holder before you put a drive in. And matter of fact, you can use this later on and put your old hard drive in it, format it, and use it as an external drive. I should mention that if you're not going to clone your old data, you're just going to install a new one. You don't need to download the cloning software. Uh, you will need probably an image of Windows 10 in order to put it on the new hard drive. I'll cover how to download that a little later in the video. If you're going to use a hard drive other than the Samsung, uh, you need to download a cloning software. And this is one of the best Macrum uh, software. There's a free version. It doesn't cost you a thing. You just got to make sure you click on the right one. I'll, uh, the link is in the description of the video. You should also understand it's a little more technical than the Samsung one. Uh, you can clone separate different sections and all that. It's for the more advanced user probably. But if you're going to use a Samsung drive, uh, you should use the Samsung software. Now here's the Samsung software in operation. And again, I'll have a link in the description of you where you can download it. It's free from Samsung and it detects a Samsung SSD automatically. Now here's the one I used. It's an older version. When you buy yours, it'll be a newer, faster one that connects to a, probably a USB 3.0 port. Check your system to see which one's the fastest because it'll make your job easier. Because on one side, it could have a 3.0 port, okay, but on the other side of the computer, you may have a legacy uh, 2.0 or your port. Okay, if you're using a Macrum Reflex software, it'll detect a hard drive, and then you'll see it listed here. And then you have to click on a clone, and then it goes out and gives you uh, the option to continue. Uh, and you just go work on it step by step to do that. Now here is an example screen where I had two SSDs installed, but once you click on that, it'll present the other disk. After you say next, it'll go through here warning about being overridden, and you just press continue, and it'll start doing the clone. Now here's the final screen where it'll track your progress and when it's done, this is what you'll see. It says 100% done um, and basically you now can change out your hard drive. Here's a view of the Samsung data migration. Now it's not a backup piece of software, so all it does is data migration. So it's not as complex as the other one. So all you do is you go to this first screen, you say start, it detects it, make sure you're doing the right ones, and then you just say start again and it'll start to do the... Uh, the copy. And eventually, uh, first it warns you because it's analyzing it. And then it'll warn you uh, about never disconnect it. And then it'll, it'll go on and start to copy. And eventually you'll get to this and it says, oh, all done. And uh, it's that simple. So now that that's done, let's move on to actually installing the new hard drive. Now this is a view of the underside of a Toshiba and it only had a little cover with one screw to take off 
and then one screw holding this whole caddy in place. On this uh, Zeus, there's 14 screws to take care of, or I have 10 screws maybe. Nonetheless, you'll be faced with either this, which is a space here with a your hard drive is at because the whole case is off. Uh, and you'll see a caddy like this that your drive is bolted to, so that so it doesn't shake around when you're moving the laptop around. Now here I'm showing it in place without the uh, bracket around it. So, But because they made the hard drives and the SSDs the same size physically, you should be able to bolt it back in exactly the way it came out. If you're having a problem with that, you can put the hard drive in or the SSD in without it. Uh, as long as you don't uh, shake your laptop too much or drop it, it, it won't come loose. Now, if you have a back like this where you have uh, all those screws to put back in, you may want to test it by just gently placing the back on it, turning the laptop right side up, and uh, doing a test. So after you have everything buttoned up and everything's good, last thing you want to do is go over here, right click on this PC, click on properties, and you use this advanced system settings. And there's two things you want to check here. Uh, when, it pop, when you click on it, the dialog box pops up, and there's advanced. You look under performance here, and then under advanced. You want to look down here in virtual memory. Uh, you want to check your swap file out. Now, on SSD, there's arguments yes or no. The real question is, is how much system memory do you have? I've got 16 gig. I don't need a swap file on this drive. There's no. If you're a gamer, it might be a little different, but go ahead and set this for what you think you need to have. Okay, if it's a low system, you should have a swap file. Uh, it's not as damaging to SSDs as once thought, or new technologies preclude that. If you want to do one, uh, you can do the automatic, but then Windows takes time creating and sizing the, the file. Instead, click on Custom Size, type in the value here. That's approximately what it's using down here. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, 3 megabytes, 3,000 megabytes in here. Oop. 3,000 megabytes in. Oop, still too much. Okay, and then do that, and I'm going to set it. Now, after you set it, you're going to have to go through the uh, confirmation saying set, and then OK, and OK again, and then you have to restart your computer uh, for that one. Now, there's also one more setting besides uh, this. You want to go over here to system protection. And make sure that you have a restore point turned on, first of all, the ability to create restore points so that Windows creates a backup of your stat status. You want to configure that. You want to turn it on up here. You also want to set up some disk space. You don't need a giant amount. 5% should be good. It doesn't need to be 10% or whatever it defaults to, if any, a small amount. Now that you have it set up, what you want to do is click on it uh, to create one, a restore point, so you have one uh, going forward. If you're going to do a clean install, the first thing you should do is visit your manufacturer's website and find their support section or their download section. And once you go there, if, and you're at, at the right model of notebook, you should look for any drivers that are there and download them and save them to a, a place on your hard drive so you can install those because Windows does not install them immediately by default. They just do general stuff. So select your type of Windows you're going to be working with and look and see what drivers they are and download them to save them. The next thing you do is go to Windows uh, download site and download Windows 10. Now right now it says April 2018, but of course there's going to be in October 2018 after uh, a few days here. Uh, but you want to download the tool now, you want to go ahead and save it, or you can run it right now. But I'm just going to go save it to my hard drive, and I'll just put it here where I'm working, and save it there. Once it's downloaded, and the virus check finishes, I'm just going to click on Run, and it'll open it up and start it up. And you just go through here, you just follow the prompt. It's really very simple. It will ask you the usual stuff. You have to agree to their terms of service and stuff like that. So once you do that, you accept that, and you move on. Now, this is not the term of service for Windows, just the one for running the tool. So you get the after it gets ready, and as I analyze the stuff, you want to choose not that, not the upgraded PC, but you want to create an installation media. So once you have that selected, uh, then you want to go down to next. 
And you want to choose a language, okay? Whatever language you have. You want whatever edition. This is only Windows 10. But then you can do 32-bit or 64-bit. Depends upon the license that came with your system. Make sure you want you know which one you have. Now you can click both here, and it'll make uh, the installation media have both versions. And you can select it during the install. And here it says here uh, DVD or USB. We'll do a file first or USB. You want to do the USB. You want to get yourself a USB that has I think eight gigabyte uh, space for both, maybe 16. But anyways, you go through this, follow it, and that creates it. Once you have that, you simply plug it in your PC and boot it up. You can do your clean install. So there you have it, how to install a SSD instead of your HD to effectively triple the speed of your old HDD laptop. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.